funniest aspect just for the city or just for the top DNB in general, you feel me so that's really it. I mean it was a it was a great experience. I I relived the moment I could. I was, my people was crying <laughs> all that and some more. I docked them up afterwards respect. And, uh, I hope I do it again when the pros get bigger. You think that was your one of your favorite fights of your amateur career? Or most memorable, shall I say? Most memorable, no. Most memorable, no. One of my favorites, yeah. My most memorable was Keon Davis, Keyshawn Davis's uh, younger brother. He was like he's like six three. I fought I, I fought him in the, uh, the U.S. Nationals. I believe that was the U.S. Nationals in Eastern Park, something like that. I uh, I fought him, and uh, he was just he really I ain't gonna lie he really outboxed me, and I had to like thug it out. And I pressed the issue towards him. And uh, by the end of the fight, it was closer than people would expect. But at the beginning of the fight, I had to figure it out. And this dude was on, was on a, I wouldn't say he was on a whole nother level. He was on a, uh, he had a different understanding for the game that I didn't at first. He was a little bit more mature than I was. So I had to, that fight definitely matured me to go into the scooter fight and to go into the rest of the fights throughout the tournament, the Golden Bloods tournament, even to now today. I'm getting people out in the first round, you feel what I'm saying? There's no, you can't play with your food at all, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you, uh, what's your record in the pros? Two and no, two knockouts. About to work on getting three and no soon. Your okay. first fight was at uh, Maryland Live, right? Yeah. Talk to me about your first fight, you know? Walk me through that whole whole process for you right there. Uh, your nerves. It was great. I, really, I wasn't nervous until the day of. Like, even like the way and I was cooler that I've been through this a million times before, as far as just boxing in general, like fighting top guys and things like that. So, me going in with somebody that's zero on zero, just like me, I got no fights to support the abuse with. Uh, me going in with somebody like him, all I really had to do was make the weight, and that wasn't that hard. So, went in there, weighed in, saw him face to face, saw that he wasn't ready for it. So, uh, but you always got to know in your head, we got eight on gloves on, so any punch that lands could have hurt me. So, me going to that fight, uh, what happened? Oh, man, we went in that fight, I fell down. I ain't gonna lie, I went upstairs. I was cramping to the other, I was cramping to his music because he went out before me. He was jamming in the back, and then when I came out, I saw all my people, but I had a lot of the crowd. Uh, cheering for me and stuff like that because they knew me either from the amateurs or just my my support system in general. I got a great support support system. So uh, everybody had it on all black. They looking sweet out there. Then when that joint uh, first round, I saw him dropping his hand, came over the top, uh, ended the fight, <laughs> and uh, he got up again, went to smack at him, and then uh, stopped him with a body shot. And he weighed it all. How'd you feel, man, when you, when you seen that? He, he, he. I, felt, I felt good. I mean, I would have wanted it to last longer because it's, it's really fun being in there for a while and letting everybody see your skill and proving to myself that I got the skill that I know I do in an actual actual fight. So it was it was cool. 57 seconds wasn't a go, but now everybody knows, like, oh, he getting first-round knockouts. You want to keep your hands up if you mess with dumb blink. Now everybody trying to come and see a knockout. That's what people like his fans and supporters like to see. It's a real knockout. So, uh, yeah, it was a fun time for sure. Maryland Live was beautiful. Shout out to Jennifer Motions. Is that, that was your goal? You know what I'm saying? We want to be a knockout guy? Is what you going in there for? Or did it just happen? Or? It just happened. I'm going in to hurt you for sure. I want to I wanna hurt you. But... I want to, like, I do want to show my skills, but I do have a lot of that grip. You know what I'm saying? I never, I, I didn't believe that I used to hit hard, but until I really got to knowing how to use my body, doing performance training, or having the workout facility, you know what I'm saying? I had, I really got to know that I actually have strength and know how to use, and learn how to use it to the best of my advantage. And once I learned how to do that, it was really just my skill and that mixed together. That's an all around great fighter, you feel what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, that's really it. Not, not really trying to go in there and 
kill, I'm mean, gonna knock out nobody, but if it happens, it happens. I'm not, not laying up all of them. So how do you want to move, you know what I'm saying? Coming in to, you said, your third fight, right? Mm -hmm. How do you want to move? You want to move smart? You want to move fast? You feel like, you know, give me top guys or move me properly? Or what, what do you want? I want to take, I'm taking my time. I ain't in no rush. I'm only 20 years old. I don't got to rush to get no money. I'm not hurting. I got another, I got another job in general. Like I, I'm a personal trainer. So I'm getting money outside. Of the, I'm getting money inside of the boxing. So I really, I really want to be an all-around great person or and be financially stable for all of my people and people that I care about, that I care about. And, but boxing is my main source of income and just really just being able to move right for real, for real. And uh, yeah, I'm not in no rush. I want to get, I want to get those top guys eventually, but I'm building my record up so now but it's the, I got two first round knockouts. Me going into my third fight, I don't want a first round knockout. I've been training for two months for what? I want to actually get my money's worth or let the fans or the supporters get their money's worth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But going in there, uh, I want to move smart probably like three, four, three, four times this year. If five comes and it comes, but if it doesn't, I'm not sure. About it. But eventually, you will see me on your TV screen, no doubt. Yeah. So as a 20 year old man, how do you stay focused to your craft, not get distracted, sidetracked? How do you stay on track with all the distractions and all the social medias that can, you know, sway you away from the... I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not even a social media dude. If you see my page, it's nothing but boxing. I don't really care for showing too much on the Instagram, money, flying, or all the extra stuff. I really just want to be Makai. And Makai is a laid back dude. I go in the house, I go to sleep, chill with my family, spend quality time with my people. That's really it. So it's really my people, quality time with my friends, my family. And then I go to the gym, I do what I gotta do. And then me training, I train kids and adults as well. And I enjoy doing that. So if when I'm not boxing, I'm working or I'm relaxing, I'm chilling with my family. So it's not but so much time in the day, we all got 24 hours. Yeah. So you got no no hobbies outside of it? Would you say besides that, just just work? That's all you do, twenty four seven work. Work. I mean, I had fun with my family. Other than that, there were some things you like. You know, when you don't feel like mentally being on boxing, what are some things that you use to stimulate your mind? Or go to the movies, go out. I like doing fun stuff. Like go out, do stuff like paintballing. Right, right, full of this, ATVs. I ain't rode an ATV in a minute. We talking about ATVs, it's crazy. But, uh, nah, uh, paintballing. I like doing fun stuff rather than like going out to some clubs and stuff. That ain't, that ain't boring. I've been to parties when I was younger. It's not real, bro. It's no different from the club. So, what's some interesting, something interesting people wouldn't know about you? I don't know, bro. You can sing, can you play the piano, you can, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I wanna play the piano, though. I wanna play the piano. Uh, really interesting about me? Can you draw, can you paint? I definitely draw. I, I just started doing the paint, but really interesting about me? I'm a born dude, bro. I'm a born dude, and I stick to my craft. And really, personal training is probably like my best. It's not even really like a job for me, it's like a hobby. I really like enjoying seeing the transformation. I, I worked out a, a, a guy and he lost 20 pounds in a month. And that was all on. I trained him and him doing his own work on his own. We came together, we worked. He lost 20 pounds and I saw a transformation. And really helping kids as well. I train, I don't train, I train boxers like I train uh, some national champions. Uh, and helping them out. So I really enjoy doing that rather than anything else. I want to be like more hobbies. I guess I like dogs. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm saying like, I'm really boring dude, bro. I really like boxing and really just being myself and having fun. So you love boxing? Love boxing. 100%. Sure. You, you can, that's what you do. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm strictly 
trippy, trippy, always boxing. I like to have fun, like I said, going out, like having fun with my family. We go out, go to amusement parks, all different types of stuff, go out of town. I'm really, I'm really enjoying traveling and stuff now, going out the country and stuff like that. Yeah. What places have you been? Been in the Bahamas a million times, to Cancun, Jamaica. Uh, Which one was your favorite? Probably Bahamas so far. No, probably Cancun. That's not like that. I ain't gonna hurt. That's just like that. I definitely go again. What you liked about it? Going out there, Ryan. I probably enjoy like the people in my family. We have all we all have fun together. Cause it was like a really a family occasion. I, if anything, if you want to see one of my hobbies, you'd probably be really enjoying the time with my family for the most part. You feel me? That's pretty. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Right, you want to leave something for your um, fans and supporters, man? Yeah. I don't even call them fans no more. They're really my supporters, man. It's for my family. Uh, come out February 24th. I'm going to put on a show for you all. It's going to be exciting, fun. Uh, not only come out to see me, come out to see the other fights as well. We're going to have fun. Shout out to Jetta Promotions and Live Casino in Maryland. Uh, yeah, we just gonna have a fun time out there. Get your drinks. Don't blink. Please don't blink because it might end early. Hopefully not. But we gonna enjoy ourselves out there. It's gonna be a party for sure. One more. What's your goal, man? What's your goal with boxing? With, with boxing? Yes, sir. Really just leave, leave everything in the ring. Have a God. Have a God. How far God let me go, I'm completely fine with that. That's really it. However far He let me go. So if I'm a world champion, a unified world champion, multiple weight classes, things like that, I'm fine with that. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, and really just showing that people that it's uh, it's more than one way to get out of your circumstance. You feel me? Be an inspiration for the rest of the people that's coming up after me. Or you, they say you, can't, they, you never see a U-Haul uh, behind a, a casket. Or, but what I was saying is, like, you can't take everything that you learn and it's like with you. It's going, it's going to go away. So you might as well pass it on to the next person. You know what I'm saying? So leave it all in the ring and show everybody else and really have fun with this sport. I really want to have fun. That stuff is fun to hit and not get hit. To beat somebody up and not, you ever like push your little brother to the side and he can't hit you, that's what it feels like. It's fun. <laughs> Topic signing off.